Okay, so thanks everyone for being here. I appreciate it. Um, we're talking about, you know, favorite setups and things like that. And, and I thought I would change it up here just a little bit with um, Ed talking more of the swing. Um, I, I figured I would go to position. Now, position can mean a lot of things to a lot of different people. But um, I got to tell you, the um, more and more these days, I appreciate the longer trade and um, have just found tremendous success with longer trades. And um, it can be it can be one of those things that you've got to work at a little bit to get onto it. But if if we were all looking at our trading accounts and, and it doesn't matter, you know, um, doesn't matter if you got a million in your account or um, 10,000 in your account, um, you have capital that's not being used. How many of you would agree with that? That rarely we have even anywhere close to 50% of our account um, swing trading in, in the market. Everybody agree with that? We've got a lot of cash sitting on the sideline, really doing nothing for us. Well, years and years and years ago, I started putting some of that cash, not all of it, but some of that cash to work in longer term positions. And when I use the term longer term, I'm um, instead of charting a daily chart, which I, I do for my swing trading, um, it's a weekly chart. Now the patterns that I trade are identical and and I can show you some trades that um, from the past um, just to show you this and and folks that have been around um, um, know that I've been talking about these trades for a long time and um, the results um, um, speak for themselves in um, this kind of thing. And to, to give you an idea of this, um, the pandemic sell-off that we had when, when we shut the economy down and the pandemic um, occurred, um, as we started to bounce back, what I did is um, I said, let's use this. By the way, what I'm going to talk about, what I'm talking about right here for the longer term requires some capitulation in the market. I mean that place where everything just collapses um, to the downside. And, and luckily I have lived long enough here in trading the market. That has happened multiple times for me. And I've been able to really take advantage of it. Well, this was just an exercise we did in the Right Way Options class one day um, on April 1st, 2020. And if you if you look at a chart on April 1st, 2020, let me um, I've got to go. I'll have to go to a longer term. But if I use the diamonds here, let's um, get something here where we don't have any drawings on the chart. Go to a longer term chart. Um, let's see if I can do more like a three day so I get a little more price action um, in that pattern. There we go. Um, right over here is our pandemic sell-off where we just went straight down we just absolutely collapsed here in the market and we started putting in a higher low here in the market right in the first week of april okay so there's that first higher low that i talk about all the time and what we ended up doing is we put together this portfolio and we did it as a group if anyone was here um, or in that class when we did this, you know, uh, let everyone know that I'm not making this up and these numbers are, are, are real. Um, not making this up at all. And we did this as a group. And just a discussion, we had somebody, somebody in the room was checking dividends and, and, um, somebody was, you know, and we were just going through and I said, let's, let's just do this experiment. Let's take just $10,000. And we started with a $10,000 allotment and 
a lot of us that have been trading very long have that much in our accounts that's just sitting there. It's been sitting there. In fact, for many of us, it's a lot more than that that's just sitting there not doing anything. And so we started making some decisions on putting together a diversified portfolio here. So you can see we picked up 10 positions and we just used ETFs. Um, we tried to pick different sectors of the market. As you can see, we've got energy and consumer discretionary, gold, financials, you know, emerging markets, all those kind of things. We, we just look for a mix of, of things. And then we set allocations here. And, and by the way, um, just for everyone's edification, for those of you who were here, I didn't pick these allocations, did I? I asked the group, how much do you want to allocate to this? So I didn't pick them. The group picked this. And we only used $8,700 of the money, and we left $1,300 in case we wanted to use that for any adjustments or anything in there. We didn't do any of that. And these were all the entry prices, and we entered all of these positions on the same day, okay, which I wouldn't recommend. But we did this as an, just to show what the, how powerful a, um, a long-term portfolio can be, even if it's very small. So you can see here, only using this much money, we didn't have big positions. 43 shares, 19 shares. Gold, we only had three. Um, this here is a rounding error in my calculator here, and I just left it because I didn't want anybody to think I would monkeyed around with it. So I just left that rounding error um, on that line. But very, very small stock positions. We weren't buying much, okay? Um, in January 2022, where the market kind of topped and, and started back down, these were our numbers, okay? Um, return on these positions, 99%, um, 116%, 124%. You can see all the way through. And this was just buying a group of ETFs. And you can see we diversified across pretty much all the, the major sectors in the markets. We didn't do anything fancy here. And at the end of 2022, on $8,700 invested, we had made $8,031 in profits. So we had better than a 90% return from April 2020 to um, January of 2022. And we made no changes. Did nothing, just held it. And followed this through. Okay. So can you guys envision in your portfolio, in your account, you've got this cash sitting on the sideline. I mean, does this interest you in, in being able to take that available cash? And it doesn't have to be giant positions, just they can be small positions. And you could choose, instead of doing stock, you could choose to do options. Just remember with options, you don't have, you can't control your risk quite as easily because of theta and because it's 100 share positions. But you could buy small share positions and just hold them. Hold them until we top and start to fail and turn in some really good returns kind of as the side hustle. That makes sense, guys? And and when you, when you think about this, we did this um, on um, ETFs that pay dividends. So this does not show this does not show the dividend return on here because it would have been better because all over that period of time, these were paying us dividends. Okay. April was the first higher low, Ron, where the market had capitulated lower. We bounced back and we put in a higher low. Okay. 
okay? It helps if you can get a major market correction and you get that capitulation. But you can, I'm going to show you, you can literally do this at any time and with any stock. It doesn't have to be ETFs, okay? It doesn't have to be, um, in, in, you know, anything fancy, okay? So let's take a look here um, and let me show you just a couple of trades. Um, one of the more, well, I've talked about this one a lot. UNG is, is a terrible state right now. Um, but I want to show you here. I'm going to go to, this is a weekly chart. Okay. And you see this line over here, it's drawn. This weekly chart, I picked up UNG over here. Now, um, if you follow the trap, um, set up right here is your trap setup. So we break a downtrend, we hold a higher low, okay? And I got into this trade, okay? Now I'm gonna tell you the dollar amounts, but don't worry about the dollar amounts, okay? Because um, percentage is a percentage. However you wanna trade this, you can trade this, okay? This trade returned over $40,000. One entry, one exit. Okay. It's the same patterns. And, and by the way, here, let me um, throw the trap trade up and we'll go over the, to the weekly over here and I'll show you that I'm not telling stories. Right there. There's the trap long entry. Okay. Now, you, you could buy one share, and you're still going to get the same percentage return as any size trade. And when you think about it, guys, we have so much capital sitting on the sidelines, we're not doing anything with it. And by the way, the patterns in here are exactly the same. The patterns that I trade that I teach all the time, exactly the same. No change. Okay. I do exactly the same thing, just a different time frame. Now, one of the key things to position trading that I think is extremely important is if you're buying a position trade, manage it from the time frame chart that you chose. You don't have to go clear to the weekly if you don't like it. I've actually worked with people in coaching that just were struggling at, with swing trading. It just wasn't working for them because really they wanted more free time. They didn't feel comfortable, she didn't feel comfortable going to a weekly chart, went to a three-day chart, and hasn't looked back since. Okay, Just trading the three-day trap on the longer-term trades and making huge returns and having to work a whole lot less. Now, when I became a trader, one of the things that interested me about becoming a trader because I worked all the time in the contract. I mean, I worked all the time. And I was looking for a way to have freedom. Okay, I was the boss. I owned the company, but I worked all the time. And trading is, I went to trading with the idea of freedom and sitting in front of screens all the time um, doesn't really give you that freedom. Position trading can give you that freedom. Okay, let me show you another trade and everyone knows about this. And as a matter of fact, anyone that listened to me um, back in the day that knows this is the case, um, I was telling everyone back here in Walmart, if you guys remember um, Walmart purchased jet.com. Do you guys remember that? Go to, I think I got my marks right here. Jet.com was, um, you know, you know, e-commerce business and stuff like that. And Walmart bought them with the full intention of going into competition with Amazon. 
And so I was telling everybody, keep an eye on Walmart. And um, I made a pickup right here. Okay. And you can see right there where I've marked the chart, that's a 3-8 trap long. That's a textbook 3-8 trap long. Okay. Um, the close of this trade was over here. We finally broke the trend, made a lower low, closed the trade. So essentially, I took this position from about $68, $69, let's call it 70 and took it up here, 130s. Yes, this is a weekly chart. I manage all of my position trades on a weekly chart. Okay, now you can see there's lots of humps and bumps in here and you don't have to just buy and hold forever. Um, if you look at this entry point over here, this went way more than I expected. Look right here, this is a weekly candle. So my entry was in here, had an alert right across here. My entry was in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, little bubble there, seven, eight, nine, ten, almost 11 straight weeks up. So when that occurred, I sold covered calls on the trade after I closed half the position. Because I didn't know after such a strong run up, I didn't know what was gonna happen. So I sold half the position and sold cover calls to hedge the rest. But then um, Walmart settled down over here. I placed a price alert right in here. I re-entered the full position, so I bought back. And then I added the options. Long story short, over the period of time managing with covered calls and things like that, managing through all of the earnings reports that came during this period of time, this trade turned in that kind of profit. One trade. One, two, three, four almost five years. All right. And if you're doing this with just a portion of your cash sitting in the sidelines, the cash that's sitting in your account that you're not doing anything with, and you can pick up some of these moves. And by the way, does it matter? How many of you would it matter to you if all you did was catch this right here, and that's all you did, catch that and you're out. 11 weeks up. When's the last time you held a trade like that? That long? Would you guys say that's a pretty easy trade to manage right here? There's nothing about that that's difficult. All you have to do is about once a week adjust your stop loss and just keep riding the trend. Okay? And it and again, it doesn't matter if it's one share or 10,000 shares. It's the same. It doesn't matter if it's one contract or a thousand contracts. It's the same. You can easily position trade, buying yourself three month, six month options, catching those entries right in here, and just banging out the win and getting the heck out of the way. You don't have to stay the length of time I stay. Now the reason I can stay the length of time I stay is because I, I've become really competent uh, um, in, in managing my risk with options. I, I honestly, I do not have the risk tolerance that it takes to truly just buy and hold something forever. The only way I can deal with that is 
knowing how to lay off that risk in my options. Okay, being able to hedge. So if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You don't have to do that. Um, everyone in right way options that was with me at the time saw me do trades in Home Depot here where um, a single entry into trades produced $10,000 in profit. Just one entry. Okay. Now, looking at this chart, guys, would you guys say a weekly chart is easier to read than a long term than a short term chart? There's not as much noise in the chart, right? You don't have to stay with anything for super super long times. You can catch these nice entries. Here's the alert right there. Pop. Boom. Okay, follow the trade. Take the profits. Wash, rinse, and repeat. Do it over and over and over. You don't have to hold them for years. That trade, month and a half, two months. Turn in huge returns. Okay. And I'm just talking about using that portion of capital in your account that you're not using now. That's just sitting there. It's doing nothing for you. So you find small positions. You look for entries. And, and by the way, um, look over here. Home Depot's in a straight up run. Okay. Do you guys think this will be an opportunity for a long-term hold again with a rest or pullback? It could consolidate or pull back and set up that long-term run. Some of the things that I'm looking at right now, take a look at, and by the way, I like stocks to do this that do pay dividends if I choose to buy the stock rather than the option. I like stocks that pay dividends and they can be these old boring companies. Okay, International paper, massive downtrend break. Okay, you guys see an opportunity here? Could be setting up right now. now. I don't know when it's going to go. You can see I've got an alert on it. I'm waiting for this trade. Now, the way I do this, guys, is um, I never expect this to go all the way back up. Never. You guys have all heard the term reversion to the mean, right? Just a simple reversion to the mean. If I were to take the quadrant lines here, quadrant lines tool and I just measure from the top of this failure here down to the lows and what if this only comes halfway back still gonna make a lot of money on it okay gonna make a lot of money on the trade and all I have to do is wait Okay, I don't have to do anything fancy. I, I, I just set my stop losses and follow this. It doesn't require me to, to be involved in this trade every single day. And it's just a portion. Don't take everything that you've got in your portfolio that's not being used. Take a small portion and start that way. Okay. Just a little bit of that account and look at some longer term positions. Uh, David um, is asking about Verizon. Let me show you AT&T here first. AT&T is a position that I'm actually in. Okay. If you look at AT&T, I'm 
in a starter position in this. I'm not loading up yet. The starter position, big dividend payer, about six and a half percent annualized yield just by owning AT&T. Okay. And right now I'm managing this with short contracts too. I'm actually short the 17 contract. Okay, or contracts on my position. Because if I look at the daily here, that's a resistance area in the chart. And I'm actually making money on the short strike right now as the stock pulls back. It's hedging the pullback. Okay, so again, if I look at this on the longer term, what if this just comes halfway back? I can make tremendous returns on it. If we take a look at Verizon, the same thing's gonna be true. Look at this massive downtrend in here, and if this just comes halfway back, okay? Pays a huge dividend on Verizon. We've pushed up, we're pulling back, okay? If we can find some support right in here and find buyer stepping up, that is a 3-8 trap long setting up on the long term. You don't have to buy a lot, just buy a little. And you don't have to go with the idea that I'm gonna hold this forever. Buy an option that's three months out, six months out, Okay, follow the same trading rules that you follow, something between, and I always do this, even if I go with super long-term options, somewhere around 70 deltas, and I hold the trade. Years ago, um, just to give you an idea, UNG, I think I got the drawing over here someplace. Not UNG, it wasn't UNG, it was, um, U and H. Yeah, right over here. Okay, this was a long term hold in U and H. My entry was here on that. My exit was here. Now, that looks like a really short trade based on what you see here, and it was. But I want you to I want you to understand I bought LEAP options, which is LEAP stands for Long-Term Equity Anticipation Securities. It's just a long dated option, okay? I want you to notice in here that this, from here to here, just about a year. This trade produced a 200% return. Okay, you don't have to hold things forever. And you can do it with options. All right. One of the longest trades I ever held was a trade in um, BDX on the weekly chart. This was my exit here. My entry, 2013. This held trend from 2013 to 2019. Went from 80 bucks to 226. Can you guys see yourself doing a little bit of that? And by the way, if you look at BDX, <laughs> I want you to notice that's what BDX does. It goes sideways for long periods of time and then runs. Go goes sideways for long periods of time and runs. You can see what's happening right now. I used to trade the heck out of Nike. You'll see all kinds of drawings and stuff back in here on Nike over and over and over trading the same patterns, trading these big moves, 
Okay. And if I come over here, what's happening right now? Person could have, and I didn't do this this time, person could have picked up, let me go to my trap chart, right here, trap long entry. Boink, to the upside. Now, it's not too late. A lot of folks will look at this as well, it's too late now. It's not too late. Because if we take a look at the big trend, whoops, stupid thing changed tool on me and color on me at the same time. Um, we're just now coming out from underneath the downtrend. Wait for the rest or consolidating pullback. Look for your entry. Okay. It happens over and over and over in the market. And trends, something that's been trending a long time, patterns just continue to repeat. Okay, If we look at stocks like Microsoft, the pattern right here continues to repeat. Break the downtrend, hold the higher low. On the weekly chart, if we're if this is our trend, okay, how much longer could Microsoft consolidate here and then keep going up? It's no different here than it was back here. Same patterns over and over and over. So when you're looking at a chart, take a look at those opportunities in some of those old boring companies that could produce huge upside returns. Now, you may not choose to hold for that total period of time. Imagine, guys, you just get in right here. You don't even get the first entry in. You catch it here and just take that move. How much money you're going to make on a three- or six-month contract? Okay? And if we just use that small portion of unused capital in our account, we can really have some heat, some just massive changes to your account. And I, I'll tell you this with honesty, honesty, I make pretty good money with my swing trading. Okay? Um, I swing trade futures, 96,000 this year is what I finished. Okay. Last year, about 128. So I make pretty good money with swing trading. I make way more money. And I'm talking life changing money. Holding longer term positions. As long as they hold trend, I'll stay with them. Take Disney. Disney has been absolutely beat down. Do you guys see an opportunity that could be setting up here on the long term? Okay, let's get naked on this. Do you guys see an opportunity setting up here on the long term? Look how far that's fallen. What if it just comes halfway back? Just halfway. The money that you can make in that trade. This over here, one of my, this was my last long term hold in Disney. That was my entry. That trade lasted four years. Never broke trend. Four years. Okay. So these trends are all around us. 
um, that you just have to look at things a little bit differently. If you use the LTA scanner, all you do is make an LTA 3A trap weekly. Make yourself a 3A trap rounded bottom breakout. Okay, I got to do. Um, take a look right now. I know this right now is setting up. Go here to the weekly. Anybody see a big rounded bottom breakout occurring here on OKTA? Now, this is, isn't a dividend payer or anything like that, so it's not one of my favorites. But can you see the same thing occurring here? On the long term now just prove prove that you can break out up here and then hold that establishes that long-term uptrend what if it just comes back to the 200 like we say in in the round of bottom breakout this is just a weekly round of bottom breakout nice kg yeah i've been looking at mdt you got you know that right um, been looking at this in fact i i covered this the last couple of days in the morning prep mdt um big downside selling here on this one starting to come up starting to produce could set up a rounded bottom breakout here on that weekly and if all this does is come halfway back up, I'm going to be one happy camper. Is this making any sense to anyone out there? Is it? Let me ask you this. Does anyone like the idea of slowing down? A more relaxed pace of trading with just part of your por portfolio. Okay, swing trading, I love swing trading. I don't want to stop swing trading. Okay. At least yet. <laughs> There's going to be a day. Okay. There's going to be a day when I'm going to say, uh, you know, I want all free time where I can work just a few hours a week on my long-term positions and that's all I have to do. But for now, I still want to swing trade. I still want to be more active in the market. Um, but think about practicing that transition now. We're, we're not going to become experts in position trading immediately. We're going to have to practice it just like we do anything else. But if you just set aside some of that capital in your account and say, this portion, I'm going to be looking for longer term trades. And, you know, here's a cool thing, too. When you find a longer term trade setup and you're looking at these charts and you see those long term trade setups, you know, if I go back to, um, um, well, anything, um, and and I look and I see a trade setting up on a longer term. Can I put that on a swing trade chart and then just trade the swings in the trend? Absolutely. It, it's not wasted time is what I'm saying. When you look at a long-term chart, and this is something I do every Sunday, I just look at the longer term I even have an area here where I set up that I only look at the indexes on the longer term I'm looking at the big picture okay yeah you can go to 2026 yeah um in in a lot of leaps right now See, you've got tons of time in them on on long term trades. So, when you're when you're looking for trades, it's just a matter, uh, and and you can just build a list of stocks that have been tremendously beat down. Okay, just pounded lower. Take a look at 
stocks like Altria. Pound it down. Well, you can see how I've got it marked up here. No surprise. This pullback here drops it out of contention, but if it returns and puts in a higher low, I'm interested. 9% dividend yield. Pick up a position in that. Take a look at like KHC, this big zooming move to the upside. Now give me that rest pullback consolidation. KHC, 4% dividend yield. Okay. We often feel like, how many of you right now feel like, well, crap, I've missed everything. Um, the run has occurred. It was kind of a surprise run. We went from we hate everything to we love everything just, just overnight. You didn't miss anything yet. If this is going to be bullish, if we're going to, if the entire market is going to turn bullish and stay bullish, it's likely to stay that way for years. You haven't missed anything yet. If you look at the longer term, the big moves are still to come. The big money is still to come. It really is, KG. It's, it's very, very easy to do. So start looking at anybody in here have an interest in this or am I wasting my time with? I mean, KG is doing it. I, I know there, there might be a few folks that might be interested, but it's not for everyone. I understand that. Some folks are just, no, I love, I love the high energy, the high intensity, the big stress in, in trading. That's what I want. And, and that's okay if that's you. Um, for me, as I get older, the more and more I want to slow down. I want to have more free time. I want to enjoy my life more. You know, I've got probably fewer days ahead of me than I have behind me. So I don't want to be glued to screens all the time. I want to be doing other things. And if I can use a portion of my portfolio to enhance my profits, okay. then it's worth doing. All right. If you guys have trouble micromanaging, um, just use the longer term chart with Heiken Ashi. You guys can go watch my videos on Heiken Ashi once you enter a trade and just manage it with the Heiken Ashi. It becomes very easy. You know, just because you're doing longer term trades, cause, um, cause more, um, it, it, everything else in the world is going to continue to happen. It, it doesn't, it doesn't remove you from that management of the trade. All right. I, I, I have I said once buy and hold forever. I'm buy and hold until the trend breaks. That's all. So, you know, all the political stuff, all of the, you know, all, all of that stuff, certainly you, you, you may want to keep that in consideration because it does have implications, lots of implications for the market. All right. But those things are happening around us all the time while stocks are trending.
Um, KG, you're so right. Not only does the market train you to go fast, it, it doesn't isn't the volatility of today, the last couple of years in the market, even encourage you to go try to go even faster? But if you look at a longer term chart, that's easier to read, it's easier to see the patterns, it's easier to manage. And if you guys are interested in this, um, I'm, I'm trying to put together a class on this because I've just been super, super busy here lately. But for me, I, I, I mentioned that I don't have the tolerance, okay, to buy and hold a position for a longer period of time unless I can manage the risk. And so the class that I'm going to be doing is probably going to be two part. And that would be, first off, just the setup and, and putting stuff together for longer term positions, position tradings. Um, but then um, a real important piece of that is understanding how to manage that position and lay off the risk in the trades. Um, enhance the profits by utilizing the true power of options and and you know we use options 90 percent of the people use options as a speculation trade but they were never created for that purpose they were created for managing risk okay And if you understand how to use them, I can manage these trades and have the comfort level because I, I really do not have the risk tolerance. If I couldn't manage it, I couldn't sleep at night. But I can manage the risk with options. And, and I'll tell you, if you catch that trade that just keeps going up, it gets easier and easier to manage it after you have a nice profit in the trade. I mean, it gets way easier. The first part of the trade is the most stressful part of it. Once it starts producing profits and going up, I relax completely. Okay, They can move around quite a bit, doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, and then trading around the chart is is remarkable isn't it kg trading around it to bring either enhanced profits hedge the risk or even um you know add additional risk to the trade at the right time so hope you guys found this useful um i know it's way different um than what we usually talk about but I hope you can see that this has some big benefits to it by just taking a breath, slowing down. Um, and by w looking at these charts um, a little bit differently, and you can turn in some just remarkable results. Um, and even if you only do it as the side hustle to your swing trading, it's just that cash that's in your account that you're never gonna put into the market. Does anybody in here go all in? Everything that you got is all is invested in the market. I, I mean, you almost have to be a little bit loco to do that, right? So, this gives you the opportunity to just take small portions of money and turn it into really big returns. And just imagine how much, if you catch just one, two, three of these over the course of a year, how much that could enhance your returns of your swing trading over a period of time. I, I mean, just change it by day and night. I mean, it's like remarkable change by just having a few slow steady risers or decliners however you want to do it okay so thanks for listening today 
I'm going to give you a little bit of a break here. <laughs> That's what your therapist said. <laughs> if you have the same therapist as, as, as Bob, what about Bob? <laughs> there you go, Ed. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks so much for listening. Um, truly, honestly, hopefully you can take some of this and utilize it in your trading and you can see some amazing changes uh, by doing it. And, and it's a much more relaxing thing to do in, in trading. So um, wish you all the best. Have a great afternoon. As you know, we're going to be closed tomorrow. Um, I want to wish everyone in here um, a very Merry Christmas and, 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 and honestly tell you that um, I so much appreciate everyone um, that's here. You're, you're part of the family and um, I just truly wish you all the best this, uh, this Christmas. And um, I will see you um, back here after the Christmas holiday um, just for a short period of time before we run into New Year's. So everyone take care, be safe, and I will see you um, next week. Thank you, guys. Hope you got something out of it. Have a great afternoon. Buckle up, get ready. Here comes John. Thanks, guys.